Hi guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one you must recall. Okay, uh, so we're still in the prologue. This is a very, very long prologue. Like, first video, I accidentally went on for like a fucking hour. This video, uh, or the last one, the second one, fuck, I can't talk, uh, or think. <laughs> I'm, I'm still thinking about the montage of funny moments, oh shit. Uh, second one went on for like half an hour, so it's been an hour and a half in total, and we're still not through the prologue. So, I feel like this game will take a while. And, um, when it comes to the funny montage moments, uh, that I keep thinking about, um, it's from Joey, who is also known as the Anime Man. Uh, if you don't know of him, um... I guess I wouldn't really be surprised. There's a lot of YouTubers out there who have reached the 100, 200 thousand subscriber rage that aren't really noticed or... I didn't- I don't want to say noticed, but recognized quite yet. As much as, like, let's say Markiplier or something. Um, but before he got to the 200,000, let alone the 100,000 range, uh, I was subscribed to him, and now that he's- he did a montage, basically, of all these funny moments <laughs> that happened as he was playing games with people and by himself and just, uh... Uh, it is- it, it killed me. <laughs> I'm- uh... Oh, man. I will, uh, put a link in the description if you want to have a good laugh, because, oh boy, there's some funny ones there. And he's played some pretty fucked games. Gotta say. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Okay, so. Right, we're in the kitchen getting meals cooked, because we're all hungry. Oh, Tay, Master, I'll help. Okay, thanks, yun -ho. I set the table with yun -ho. Red makes a racket beside me, but he's not much of a help. Oh, I'm so hungry. When's everything getting ready? I smell something delicious, you know? This is torture! <laughs> Wait a bit more. It's almost done. <clears throat> oh, right, Red. Can I ask you a question? Of course. You can ask ten questions if you'd like. What is it? This was the chance to ask him something I've been wondering about. Your clothes. Where did you guys get the clothes you're wearing right now? Red was wearing the Justice Warrior suit, the default outfit for Red when Crobadol announced him. And it wasn't just Red. All the others were also wearing their own default outfit. Oh, this. Red pulled out, pulled out his own clothes. I don't know. You don't know? I was wearing this when I woke up to find myself a human. I don't know whether... I don't know where it's from, but I don't care. This is most comfortable for me. It feels like it's tailored just for me. Because it is. Red strokes his own outfit. I assume we have become humans looking like when we were first released. Lance, who also... Lance, who was coming from the living room, cut in our conversation. So with this too, they have no clue on what happened. Then those clothes... Can you take them off and change? Of course, we are indeed humans now. Why? Do you want to play doll with our human bodies? Be my guest. If my honey dresses and undresses me, I'd do anything. Whoa! Lance picked up a sharp fork. <laughs> <laughs> his expression was fiercer than the blade. Yuri avoided his eyes. Lance, you will forever be my protector, it seems. It's not only that, Red really is a warrior of justice and Yuri can really play the drums. We all actually have the talents and characteristics that were assigned to us. Isn't that amazing? Really? You can play the drums? Of course. Shame it- Shame there isn't a drum set in this house. It would have been my- It could have been my chance to shine. The pretend setups for playing with dolls have become reality. Amazing. How about you? What can you know and Lance do? Huh? Um... As you can see, Lance is really smart, and me, I, uh, um, can't really do anything. Yunho slurred. What? Yunho's kind and sweet. That's the best talent out of all of us. Tay turned towards the table, holding a huge pot with a finished meal. Oh, I see. Right, Yunho. You've helped me so much already. You have a great gift. Master. Everyone hungry? All's done. Sit. Yes! It looks good. Hurry, Master. Okay. Like in the morning, it felt strange to see the busy dinner table. The house used to be so quiet just until yesterday. 
This isn't bad. I'm actually happy. So I began my second meal with the boys. We had another meeting after filling our stomachs, but no solution came up. Hmm, look at the time, it's late. Let's stop now since we have tomorrow. It would be a waste of time to continue. I agree. I hope we think up something tomorrow. I think while I sleep. I'll think while I sleep. I don't want to be apart from Master. Oh no, everyone's about to crash. Okay then, how are we going to sleep? Do we need to discuss it? She and I can use the same bed and the rest just sleep wherever. Yuri tried to hug me from behind with his buttery face. Uh, uh, Yuri! A cushion from the sofa flew towards Yuri. Ah, oh, Lance, you! I threw that cushion so you can use it as a pillow. If you are not sleepy, there is no reason to say such nonsensical things. What? Hey, you... Still, how dare you throw a cushion at this beautiful face? Ugh, if it weren't for my honey, I'd have killed you! I'll be merciful just this once. Hmm, okay. There's no assurance that there will be a cushion ready every time, so I will make sure to have something else prepared. What? You little... M master we'll sleep in the living room. Master, go rest in your room. Yunho tried to keep things together. What? I don't want to. I want to sleep in a comfy bed. I'll just sleep with her. Ow! This time, a wooden doll from the reception table flew at his way. What would... That wood should be pretty hard. Ouch. Everyone stop. You were all my dear dolls. I can't let you guys sleep on the cold living room floor. Over there is a room my grandpa used to use. The bed is big, so I think two people will be able to lie there. Of course, you'll have to shake the dust off the sheets since they haven't been used in a while. And the room next to it is a library. There are a lot of books, but there will be room for two people as it happens. There will be room for two people. As it happens, there's a sofa bed Dad had bought before, so you can use that. And one person can... I turn my gaze towards the sofa. It is definitely big for sitting, but a bit small for one adult man to lie down. I'll sleep on the couch. Everyone sleep on the bed. No, I'll, I'll sleep on it. You know, I have the smallest figure here, so I'm probably the only one who can fit in that sofa. But still, I'm fine. I like sofas. It's where Master took me to tell me stories. Every evening I spent alone, I used to sit on the couch and talk to the dolls while watching TV. You know, I'm sorry. And thanks. No, nothing to be sorry about. It's me who should be thankful. Well, looks like the kiddo knows where he's sleeping. What about us? I don't want to share a bed with that silver head. Absolutely not. It is surprising how we are thinking the same thing. Finally, after being so stupid, now you are talking some sense. What? I've been holding back enough. Wait, no violence. Whoa, whoa, calm down. It's not fun to just randomly choose roommates. Yes, this is what we'll do. Tay brought chopsticks from the kitchen. Now, choose the chopstick you want. They all look pretty, much the same, but these are actually two sets of chopsticks. You see the different patterns on top? We each choose, and the ones with the pair share the same room. Alright? I actually have a chopstick set that the tops, if you put them together, they look like um, really famous paintings that are, in J that are uh, from Japan. And... Uh, the one I recall the most is the one with the giant wave. I can't remember its name, but I have a chopstick little set for that, and it's really cute. So this is, I, I understand what he's talking about. I like that it's unpredictable. Quite the thrill. But what if I get him? I'm also not fond of this idea. Then are we just going to waste time like this? Look, she can't even sleep because of you guys. Tay shoved my back. Lance and Red both stare at me. Huh? Oh, uh, look. Yunho did give in, and I'd feel bad for him if we keep on fighting like this. And I'm getting a bit sleepy. So all agreed? So everyone all at once, alright? One, two, three. After I wrote on my diary, I plopped down onto the bed. So many things happened today. I'm so confused. Right then, I hear Red bickering outside. I also hear Lance nagging at him. But seeing them keeping their voices down, they must have thought of me. <laughs> they just had to pick the same one. <laughs> After all that! Okay. Roommates were instantly set. And the worst pair, Lance and Red, and Yuri and Tay, each had to share rooms. Red clutched his head as soon as he chose a chopstick. No need to add that Lance looked grim as well. 
Tay still had a kind smile as Yuri quickly went into the room saying he needed sleep. This isn't right! It's invalid! Again! It would be right to succumb to the results, but this time I would like to argue it's invalid. A man doesn't give his word and not deliver. It's already set, so keep your complaints to yourselves. But... Did you guys forget what I've said? The more you argue, the sleepier she's going to get. She'll be able to go to bed after you've decided on your rooms. Oh, wait, 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 that's Tay. She'll be able to go to bed after you've decided on your rooms. What, you want to stay up all night? Ugh, alright, fine. Shame on you for using her as an excuse. Fine, I'll go to sleep. You can survive an elephant slayer if you just get yourself together. Sleeping with the enemy, I ain't afraid. I can handle this. Go me! There were several things I wanted to point out, but I just stood quiet. I presume I will be having nightmares from the first night I turned human. This oddly disheartened look seems cute. Of course, he'll glare at me if I tell him this. Well now, everyone go to their rooms. Sweet dreams, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, anyways, what am I going to do? I thought about this all day, but didn't come up with anything. We're in trouble. Time's running out fast. I really hope I think up something tomorrow. Like I said, make Yuri the fucking guardian. He's the one who is who he is in a student. He can be the guardian, and it's not like the principal saw him or anything. Ugh. God has abandoned us. We've come to this day without any particular solution. Oh, I see. Every day we discussed what to do, but we were always just caught in a vicious cycle. I feel bad, but should I just let them out and tell whatever to the principal? Or just say that they came from outer space like Red said? Ugh. If you don't like your hair, then just go to the salon! Or are you looking for a new look? Seeing me tear my hair out, Soe seemed, so seemed to feel sorry and came to talk to me. Do you need a legal guardian to go to the salon nowadays? What? Nothing, just talking to myself. You did seem a bit off for the last couple of days. Shinbi, I think she's used up all her life energy. Hmm. Oh, right, did you hear? Our music teacher is going on maternity leave. So we stopped moving and chatted on. A substitute teacher is coming soon, and apparently it's a he, and more a young single man. I wondered about this when Mr. Yujin came, but where does Soe get all of this information? Does she know someone in the academy? I wondered if it was okay for a student to know everything going on within the academy. I think this is my second chance. Nice! I'll make sure history doesn't repeat itself. That history is probably that one. Anyways, Zoe, I have more important things to think about right now. The biggest crisis of my life is right in front of my eyes. What was he called? I heard his name, but I can't remember. It was a pretty name. Shinbi, do you remember? Oh, no! Oh, no! Yuri. Yuri, what a nice na- Wait, what did you just say? Right, Yuri, he's a guy and called Yuri. Doesn't he just feel like a hottie already? Yuri. Yuri. Yuri! Zoe, what did you just say? What, I thought you weren't listening. I see, you're interested too, aren't you? So what did you just say, what? What's gotten into you? All right, my gift, it's top secret, but I'll tell you. The new music teacher apparently studied abroad and even played drums when he was young. Oh no. I heard he was even in a band. We might even get to see him play. Ah, so exciting! Band, drums, and especially that name Yuri naturally reminded me of someone. No way. That can't be. At the sudden, at the sudden roar shaking the school, all the kids in the class jumped towards the window at once. What? What? What is this? What happened? What's outside? An imposing black sedan entered the playground. The car door soon opened and a familiar face wearing a suit and sunglasses got off. The- that's- Oh my god, it's Yuri! <clears throat> Oops, I hurriedly clasped my mouth. Luckily no one seemed to have heard me amidst the roar. I should really be careful. But that only lasted for a second. Soon when I saw the faces getting off from the back seat, I screamed. Oh no, they're all there! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! They're all there in their uniforms for school, aren't they? It was Lance, Tay, Yunho, and Red. 
Oh dear God. Why are they wearing our school uniform? Oh, opening. Okay, 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 hold up! What's with the mysterious dude with the white hair? What's with the fucking music box? And the opening also shows the only guys I have installed in the game, even though there's more. So... Does that change once I've got more boys? And... This is very similar to the same ass, uh, design as Dandelion, probably, because... You probably have to get all the endings with the boys in order to get the ending with the mysterious dude, just like with Dandelion and the wizard. That's what I'm assuming, anyway. That is what I am assuming. But... Remember what? The dream? That we couldn't even really get a clear picture of? Of what was going on? Like, I'm pretty sure Grandpa was in on that. Like, I... I'm pretty sure. I just don't know who the mysterious dude is. Like, who's the freaking mysterious dude? Who? 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 Oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna have to figure this out. I couldn't bear to sit still during class. After getting permission to go to the infirmary, I escaped class and headed straight to the principal's office. If the boys came here, that was the only place they could go. What the hell is happening? I had no idea what was going on. I didn't have a clue why they came to the academy when nothing was solved and how Yuri made it here, too. What was that car they rode here in? I saw the five suspects as soon as I opened the office door. Hey, what the hell happened to you, got? Oh, here you are. We were just about to call you. Oh, right. This was the principal's office. Oh, uh, Grandpa- I mean, Mr. Principal! Aren't you just- Aren't you just? If something like that happened, you should have just been honest. What? I've never th thought- bleh, 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 bleh. I've never taught you to lie. Busted. I'm so busted. These boys must have told him everything. Look, so this is what happened. Even I couldn't believe... If you told me from the start that our new teacher, Yuri, was the guardian for these boys, I would have taken care of the formalities faster. Yes, I would like to get to the formalities over with, huh? Uh, wh what? What? I looked at Yuri right away. Yuri winked at me over his sunglasses. What? Yes, I heard the parents couldn't visit, and I feel sorry that they couldn't move into their original house because they were scammed. You should have told me that from the start. Oh, uh, that's... Of course, I would have been surprised if you suddenly started living with boys, but there's nothing to worry about now, since Yuri here is going to supervise everything. That means there's everything to worry about, though you could not even begin to know that! I'm actually rather relieved that Yuri will be looking after you all. He's quite the role model. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Re relieved Wait, before that, what? Are you really saying Yuri is a role model? 
Anyhow, everything has worked out well. I've been quite worried about you living alone, but now that Yuri here will watch over you, I'm relieved. You know, before, there was a time when teachers used to lodge at a student's house. Now that I think about it, I did too. Now let's see, when was it? After liberation! Then the academy was just in a temporary building. Mr. Principal started telling his old stories. Well, let's first get the boys out of here. I quickly said bye to the principal and got out with the five boys. What the hell happened? I understand you're surprised, but calm down. Holy shit. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Like, ho! Oh. Very attractive male. Even though he's fictional and highly pale. Just... Yes! I... I... Yeah. Uh, um... Yeah. I could... I could... Yeah. I could... I could work with that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I can't calm down. Why are you guys here? And what's with the uniform? And what the principal just said? Wait, stop. One at a time. We can't answer if you shoot us all like that. Aw, uh, he looks really sweet and all print, print and proper with his. Please calm down, Master. We'll explain everything. What happened was... Aw, and Yuho looks so cute, too. <laughs> this is serious. We need to bring a guardian by today. Master looked so grim when she headed out. Shouldn't we do something? I really don't see what we can do this time. There's nothing. Then we will just have to hide ourselves for a while. No, I really don't want to. But if we don't do something, she'll start crying. Oi, you snaps, get out. We need to go somewhere. Go somewhere? Where? I'll tell you when we get there. Don't have much time, so hurry up. Hurry. But wait, don't push. What is this? I need to know before I go, and she told us to stay still in the house. That is right. There is a high chance we will get into trouble if we go. Yeah, yeah, just get out. Don't worry, this is all for her. So everyone got out. Yuri brought us three... brought us these uniforms. And that's how we got here. Aw, you look like such a prince. And so do you. And so do you! Oh no, you can't show me this! <laughs> I'm like a... I'm like a male otaku with school uniforms for girls, oh, n except it's swapped with boys, it's... Oh no, they're just, 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 ah, stop, they're too cute and attractive, and this is not okay, no, no, this is not okay. What, so even you guys don't know? Well, that's how it is. What the hell happened, Yuri? You seem to be responsible for this fuss. My honey, don't get so worked up. Of course you do look cute when you pout. Yuri! Oh, all right, all right. This is what happened. According to Yuri, it went like this. The parents were quite worried about their precious sons in Korea. Just then, they met Yuri, who came over to learn about African music. And finding Yuri trustworthy, they asked him to be the guardian for their children. About to return back to Korea after finishing his studies, Yuri willingly took up the offer, and later came back to Korea as their legal guardian. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't believe Grandpa. I mean, the principal believed this story. Are there really that many Koreans in Africa? <laughs> no, probably not, honestly. And they found Yuri trustworthy. That was the most ridiculous part. Okay, I get how you got away with that, but teacher? How did you suddenly become a teacher? Oh, that. That's a secret for adults. <laughs> you want to know? Alright, it's nothing shocking. But instead, you have to... You know what? Never mind. I think it's best if I don't know. Why? I said I'd tell you. Don't you want to know? Even when it's about me and not the other boys? Honestly, I was a bit curious. But if I ask him to tell me, Yuri was going to ask for something weird. <clears throat> um, is it related to those papers you gave that staff member as soon as we arrived? Papers? Yes, Yuri said something while holding her hand when he asked- when he handed the papers over. I think it was Mademoiselle who hold the keys to my fate. <laughs> so fed up. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Forged papers and a bribed staff member were all I needed to hear to guess what happened. Of course he used that face of his. But it, I'm having doubts about this academy having Yuri as a teacher. I mean, Yuri? A teacher? 
that worries me. At that moment, some teacher in the infirmary flashed through my mind. Well, maybe it's not that uncommon in this academy. I think it'd be best if I no longer think about how this academy is run. Anyways, thanks to that, we don't have to worry about being apart. Thanks, Yuri. You are welcome. I actually wanted to live just with my honey, but then she'll be sad. Yuri winks at me. This is nothing if it's not for my honey. Oh, wait. This is nothing if it's not for my honey. I unknowingly smiled at Yuri. He always plays around, but times like this, he's actually pretty mature. I was about to feel thankful towards Yuri. But next time, I hope my honey does one thing for me. Maybe something like being naked in an apron? Whoa! A school bag flew towards his way. Seeing the bag flop on Yuri's face, I decided the gratitude I felt towards him didn't happen. Actually, never happened. Oh, I feel quite dizzy thinking that I will have to go to this academy with these people. I am only thankful that I am not in the same class with the worst one. What? Same class? You've all been assigned classes already? Oh, we haven't said. We've been assigned. Red and I are in sophomore class M, and Lance and Yunho are with you in freshman class N. Okay, okay. So that makes it easier for me to understand what the age groups are. Yuri's the oldest. Red and Tay are in sophomore classes, so they're older. And Lance and Yunho are in the same class as me, which means they're around my age, so then I don't have to feel bad for liking Yunho. Oh, this is good. Okay, I can live with that. Sophomore? You guys are sophomores? And Lance and Yunho are in my class? Well, we technically are supposed to be older than them. We even look older. I actually wanted to be in the same class as you, but he kept bickering, so I stopped arguing. We live in the same room, thinking about being in the same class. I wish to relieve myself of that. <laughs> oh, goodness. The same academy in the same class. It really hits me now. I'll be going to this academy with these boys. I'm not sure whether this is good or bad. Master? Yes? I don't know how you'll feel when I say this, but I'm so happy right now. What? I've waited every time you go out in the morning. Waited for you to come back. I thought it'd be the same even when I became human. I'm so happy I can spend my whole day with you like this that I'm about to cry. Something bothered me about what Yunho said. Waiting for me to come back. Even when I said I'm back at the empty house, there was someone to greet me. I was getting so used to being alone ever since Grandpa died, but he always... But he says he waited for me in that empty house until I came back. Yunho... Forget everything that's happening right now. Nothing to care about when he's smiling at me like this. Then we'll be off now. Everyone, good luck. Is this my first class? Oh, I'm so nervous. All right, I'll definitely prove myself to everyone today. I'll go back to the office since I have some things to check. Everyone, be careful. I told you not to worry. Just trust me. I'm worried about you the most. Then see you all after class. Oh, they're so cute. After parting with Tay and Red, I headed to class with Yunho and Lance. Freshman class N. This is the classroom Lance, Yunho, and I will be together from now on. Oh, I got something in my inventory. Lance opened the classroom door. And that's it! That was a pathetic clap. That's better. Haha! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna just leave it off here. Uh, I'm might have gone a little over compared to what I usually try to keep myself at, which is a half hour. And uh, that's because I am... I get very invested <laughs> in games, even if there's something really silly like an Otome game or a visual novel or something that you don't really think you would a person would get invested in. Uh, but this is something that I enjoy. So I'm going to continue this when I'm not talking everybody's ears off including mine. <laughs> All right. See you later, guys.